From left to right, we have the mini five reed case, followed by the standard case. This is what's called custom bassoon reed case on our website. It, uh, it holds 10 reeds, followed by the 20 reed case for bassoon. Um, and that's a new updated compact design. And then lastly, the brand new 40 reed case. Okay, so quick run through. Uh, I'll start from smallest to largest and kind of give you a brief rundown. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this a six minute video like usual. Okay, so five reed case. Uh, it's very small, sleek. Okay, it was designed to fit in your pocket, uh, your, either your physical pocket on your person or inside of a bassoon case pocket. Okay, it's about three and a half inches square and one inch thick. So very, very small. Um, these are extremely rigid, by the way. Probably more so than any of the cases, except for maybe the 40 reed case, simply because it's just very uh, thick. The walls of the case are very thick. Um, just by the very nature of this case, because it's so small and compact, it's very, very rigid. Uh, you could step on this. <laughs> I've tried uh, stepping on this, it, it won't break. Um, so this particular one, and actually pretty much all of these here, have the new generation two reed holders. And I'll compare it to those to a normal reed holder in a second, but the new generation two reed holders, uh, they're slightly shorter and the gaps between them allow reeds to be taken in and out more easily. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, next up we have the standard 10 bassoon reed case. And this has gone through so many variations um, over the past year or two. Okay, at this point, this is probably like the fifth generation of this case. And it's about twice the length, seven inches by four inches by one inch. Okay, so overall, actually not very big. Pretty much the same size as any normal bassoon reed case out there. The vent holes, that's kind of my philosophy, personal philosophy, that if the sooner you can dry a reed out, the longer it'll last. Uh, and keep in mind, these are all custom cases, so you can actually order these without that, without any holes, if you want. Some people have ordered custom designs, etc. So that's something I could do free of charge. And here we go. These also had the Generation 2 reed holders. Looks pretty. Keep in mind, you could request any color um, reed holder inside the case. If you don't request anything, typically I just pick something that I think looks good. I mean, this looks good, in my opinion. Okay, next up. We have the 20 reed case. This is a new redesign of the previous one. I mentioned in a couple other videos. This is cool, by the way, this case and the prior one I just showed you is a color scheme that's black with white specks. And I actually really prefer this to a normal black case. Uh, the finish on it, is th this particular brand of material that makes this is uh, so nice. Look at that. I love it. So if you're considering ordering a black case, maybe think about this one as well. They look pretty. This actually has the generation one reed holders in it and you can see they're more beefy, they're thick. Um, maybe a little bit taller, slightly. This actually has the same overall length and width dimensions, uh, seven by four. It's just a half inch thicker. So now we have twice the capacity, only a half inch thicker than the standard case. Okay, so there you go. It looks twice as thick, but it's not, I imagine. It's, it's only about a half inch thick. Half inch thicker. Um, I'll demonstrate the differences. The reed holder isn't that in a second. Okay, and here we go. Here's the new 40 reed case. This is awesome. Oh my God. I haven't been this excited about a product in a while. And surprisingly, I've already had a few orders for these, so. I'm glad the, the hype is real and people are actually interested in this sort of thing. So I originally designed this uh, for reed makers interested in carrying a large amount of reeds on them at any one time. Uh, also for people going to trade shows, conferences that need to take their reeds, but they don't want to take one of those big cumbersome display cases and they want something a little more hands-on than keeping them in tubes. I'm not a big fan of keeping the reeds in tubes at a display table. That's just my personal philosophy, I like to show them and place them in the vial myself when someone buys them. Uh, don't mind these horrible reeds, these are all 
uh, all dead reads at the moment. Okay, so you might notice it's a bit different. Well, I used metal hinges on this just for longevity. I mean, I've actually never had any of the prior cases break a hinge, but simply because this is just thicker, I decided to add these. Um, they still retain the ability to open the case completely flat, which some people don't really see the point in, but we all have had uh, one of those, you know, standard Chinese wooden cases, whatever brand relabels them as their brand, uh, on a music stand, and they fall off, they slip off because of the beveling or whatever, or they don't open 100% flat. This will sit flat on a table, um, a music stand. This is 100% level and flat. It's not gonna plop off, okay? Um, 20 reeds in the middle, 10 on each side. You can configure it so that you only have access to half of them at any one time. Here's it closed, small gap in the middle, uh, grips on the side to open it more easily. These have vents, you can order it without vents if you want, um, or you can order with more vents, it's up to you. You can even inscribe your name in there, whatever you request, I could pretty much fulfill. Okay, they, um, there's magnets in the closure. Because it's so large, uh, they're not very loud. They're quite quiet. And there you go. What a beautiful case. You know, the crazy thing about this is about seven inches squared, more or less. And it's only about the same thickness, actually, as the 20 reed case. About inch and a half, maybe a little more than that. Awesome. I kind of beveled the extreme corners so that it's easy to fit into a bag. Believe it or not, this fits easily into any bassoon case. In fact, probably more easily than my combo Contra and, and bassoon cases. Just because the very nature of the sides being rounded out. Wow. Silent, o silent opening is so nice. Those hinges are very strong too. Alrighty. Oh, and let's demonstrate the difference between Gen 1 reed holder and Gen 2. So let's get this horribly dead deceased reed here. And let's zoom in on this, or focus. Focus, there we go. Okay. Goes in and out. Like any normal ribbon holder. And keep in mind, these are meant to secure the reed in place so that it won't fall out, number one, if you drop the case. And number two, they're meant to hold the reed suspended in air so that it dries out faster. Okay, so we're all familiar with the foam reed holders. They really don't hold the reeds in place very well. That They'll fall out for sure if you drop the case. Um, the standard ribbons, they work well enough, but they're made out of like a, a Chinese felt. So or felt in general, so they're going to absorb moisture, grow bacteria. This is an antimicrobial medical grade silicone in there. Here we go. Okay, Gen 1. This is the older version. And by the way, this reed is kind of falling apart, so yeah, this reed is dead. But it gets the job done. Okay, you'll notice the gaps in these are quite a bit more narrow. And in order to put these in, you typically have to spread them apart a little bit or put them in at an angle to get that read in. And I made a video about that way back in the day. Actually, it's still not that difficult, but regardless, the newer version is kind of more easy to handle. Okay, so there are the four sizes of read cases. Thanks, guys.